All right, guys. Uh, this episode of Ginger Snaps is brought to you by you, Dr. Thunder. Can you keep it down? Um, I'm trying to work on my 10,000th and 47th Capri Sun purse. I'm I, dealing you with, know what? We are in a world in crisis, Coop. We, we are in a world in crisis. <laughs> and I'm, all I've been doing... All I've been doing since last <laughs> week is making week. Capri Sun purses. I've been hey, you, just you collecting see, the... Well, the you, problem is you see I've been going cool? to landfills to get them, Coop, and that means I'm doing backtracking. We're talking 20 years. You, We're you talking 20 billion Capri Sun pouches. Check this out. If, if you stand right here, these Stalfos, uh... Oops. <laughs> Can't and then you. two more are about to come. Link's just hanging out, though. Uh, Molly, I have a question for you, because you've gone to that landfill uh, 13 times, and y you've flown every time. At a certain point, <laughs> do you think your carbon <laughs> footprint is uh, kind of uh, dividing no, itself? No, 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 it's okay. Um, actually, because the plane is made out of recycled Capri Sun pouches. Right, and, I forgot. Um, and we and fill it by burning Capri Sun. Yeah, so we're going you, you for it. You blow a, a into neutral. the straw and the plane flies up. Yes, yeah, exactly. So what we do is, yeah, we blow into the straw to inflate the plane. And, well, it's actually a dirigible. Um, and so oh, no! We, <laughs> so Put it on the dirigible kind of going, mention count. We, we are going for a net zero, like a very, like, not for like a negative carbon, if, but we're going for neutral. We're looking to just put, like, you know, put back what we leave. <laughs> Which begs the question, why are we doing this? And that's because, you know what? These Capri Sun purses are so dang cute. Um, everyone yeah. wants one. And and honestly, like, people have started making imitation ones where they, like, you know, source the plastic in normal ways and uh, aren't recycling them, and they're so yeah. cute. Mass producing them. Uh, and honestly, yeah, the demand is so high that they they have to they have to create 300,000 more Capri Suns every yes, year. Yes, we have uh, made the problem significantly worse. If you do look at the raw numbers, if you look at the raw numbers, uh, yes, the liberalism. raw numbers definitely make things look bad if you are only consulting the raw numbers. Yes. It's, it's okay, um, sweetie. We're going to vote. But, We're going to vote climate but, change out. It's, yeah, so... We're gonna come to this from a different angle. We are just going to start filling Capri Sun packages with helium and letting them simply leave this atmosphere. Okay. They're gonna go to space and they're Wait, gonna become. Wait, there's, hel there's a helium crisis. Oh god! Oh god! You know, there's a set amount of helium <laughs> on Earth, right? <laughs> no, what is there? You know, you know, okay, we're Googling slated to be out of helium in the next fifty years, much right? Helium is on Earth. Okay. The U.S. Department of Interior estimated that there are one thousand one hundred sixty-nine billion cubic feet of helium reserves left on Earth. That's enough for about one hundred seventeen more years. Helium okay. is an infinite, and it remains worth considering. Okay, but here's the thing: we only need helium for like balloons, right? And balloons are actually no. really bad for the environment. No, we do not only need helium for balloons. Yeah, for balloons and making ourselves have funny voices. Yeah, you're right. In a and honestly, like, in 117 years, we're going to have stuff that can alter the voice <laughs> in different ways. Exactly. So I'm not really worried about it. I did just Google what do we use, what do we use helium for. It says helium gas is used to inflate blimps, scientific balloons, and party balloons. So that, that you know dirigibles? party balloons are the top three. Then we get, we use, it is used as an inert shield for arc welding to pressurize the fuel tanks of liquid-fueled rockets and in supersonic wind tunnels. But arc welding did not make it up there. Party balloons is in the top three most important uses for helium. I think that's um, because it's one of the best known and not because it's one of the most important. No, I think it's one of the most important. Um, arc welding is interesting. I actually welded for a little bit. Yeah, Did I you? was really bad at it. <laughs> yes. I I took a welding class in high school and I was just so horrible at it. Um, but I had a lot of fun. I did have a good amount of fun. Well, that's um, good and I hear. guess I and I guess I owe that to helium. 
So, thanks. I owe that to helium. <laughs> Do I owe that You're to welcome. helium? You're <laughs> welcome! I like to think if helium had a mascot, it would be Alvin and the Chipmunks. Just have a high-pitched voice. Um, no, yeah. it would be the Allstate guy, but after he sucks in helium. That would be amazing. What's his oh name? Oh my the god, All I need State that in guy. my life. He also voice acts the Arbiter, right? Dennis Haysburg. Yeah, yeah, that is not Dennis. What? His name is Keith David. What? Den I looked up the Allstate guy, and his name okay, is Dennis Haysburg. Okay, he Haysburg. didn't voice the Arbiter. <laughs> oh, wait. Because Keith David voices the Arbiter and isn't the Allstate guy. Wait, but then somebody said, how did the Allstate guy die? And somebody said, today's the first anniversary of Dean Winter's death? Well, have there been multiple... Helium is one hell of a drug, Molly Ann. Have there been multiple Allstate guys? I haven't watched a I television in like to six believe. years. Allstate, I'm literally crying. Allstate wouldn't do that, okay? Allstate Since 2004, just... yep, Dennis Haysbert. Wow. First, what? first I learned about Billy Mays last week, and now this. That's so fucked up. Okay, I'm gonna look up Dennis Hayes Burt's voice credits. Ow. You good? I'm not good. Okay, I'm going to behind the actors. We're gonna see who this man has voice acted, okay? Um, yeah, okay. He's the judge in Wreck-It Ralph. He... No, wait. No, he's he's General Hologram in Wreck-It Ralph. He's in Kung Fu Panda 2 as Master Ox. Um, I know you just recently rewatched Kung Fu Panda 2. Does that help you at all? <laughs> I, I'm not really paying attention. <laughs> I'm not fun. worried about this. <laughs> <laughs> I am! Well, I'm very sorry for your loss. I don't... I don't know what to He's tell alive. You. He's alive. He didn't die. That was some other oh, guy. That was some other Allstate guy. Whatever. Yeah. When did he... an he... asshole. Wait, do you think it was Mayhem? What? Dean Winters died! Oh, okay. For five minutes in 2009. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know the guy in the commercials who's mayhem? He's like, hi, I'm a raccoon in your attic. Yeah, he died in 2009, but when you Google when did he die, it says 2009, and then it goes on to say for several minutes before doctors were able to revive him. So he's okay. Wow. <laughs> he's fine. Honestly, that your Wikipedia page at that point should look like... Uh, like seasons on a show that you're in it should be like 1979 <laughs> to 2009 2009 <laughs> um onward I fucking like agree. your death should be yet. your death should be counted your tombstone on record. yeah your tombstone should be like 1979 <laughs> to 2009 2009 to 2040 like just yeah. whatever I that sounds great I, I completely agree yeah all right so we beat the shadow temple Nice uh, job. That's, that's the last temple. We got all 20 hearts. We're not saving the Skulltula guy. He was a greedy asshole. No, he what the cursed. fuck? Cooper! Yep, he was a greedy prick. And uh, I saved his family. But you know what? His hubris got him there. And I'm busy. Everyone deserves a second chance. Oh, here's all the sages who are, like, fucking dead, right? Okay, Molly Ann. What if we meet each other halfway here? I'm not going to find all 100 Skulltulas. I just refuse to do that. But what if we take an episode and I glitch my Skulltula value to 100, which will break the curse and save that man's humanity? Is that... that depends. When are we recording this episode? Because saving his humanity is not worth me missing my beach day. Well, we're doing two more episodes after this anyway. No! I'm very sorry for your loss. <laughs> no! I assume you're still crying about the Allstate, man. Why did I ever agree to run a Let's Play channel?
Wow. Okay, you're just really coming right out there, huh? <laughs> I'm falling apart. It's so sunny out. I, There's a I bald don't... eagle flying out the window. Shut Not up. a cloud in the sky. There is. There's straight up a bald eagle. A deer comes outside... up to your window and it, looks it, at you. Actually, there is a bald eagle that lives outside my window and keeps me awake uh, at 4 a.m. The Shoot book it. club knows about this. Shoot it. <clears throat> I can't. Murder that bald eagle. I'm not going to. It's doing nothing wrong. What are you, a fucking wrong. cop? <laughs> it's doing nothing wrong. What are you, a government shill? I bet you don't even wipe your ass on the flag. Will you please stop? You're being uncomfortable. You fucking cop? Kill that bald eagle. Make its no. family watch. No. Stop. Oh, hey, it's, it's Raru. You want to see something cool? I literally... Raru has... Raru Rehab has a Triforce eagles. on his forehead. The polygons form a Triforce on his I forehead. I see it. Can we just get through this cutscene? Get through this? It's not going to go any faster or slower based on what I'm saying. That's oh just not God. how cutscenes work. This. <sighs> We're already not reading it. What more do you want? <laughs> All right, All right. Uh, here are the patrons. Leave a like, <laughs> comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Talk about the last time you spent a day in nature, and I will read it out loud to Molly Ann. All right. Who was um, inside all day. Goodbye, everybody. This episode is in loving memory of um, the Brian all state guy Gilbert. who died for I'm sorry five... you had to hear about this. Not Brian David Gilbert! What? I'm sorry, Kill? this is how you had to find out. <laughs> He's dead. All right, bye, guys. Can you imagine if, if he died, like, between now and... Yeah, we'd have to cut that episode. <laughs> all right, all right, all right.